Be very quiet, everybody. We don't want to startle it. It likes the fruit. I'll go. Huh? What is that? Um, so this movie is called Pacific Rim. Oh, I'm like in the middle of the picture. This is called Pacific Rim or Pacific Rim Part 2. Now, it's got these titans, right? I haven't seen the movie, okay? It just looks like a stupid movie. I'm sorry, but it does. Yep. That's how Jay Dreamers is starting this. By talking about a movie he hasn't actually seen. So you can see the titan being over here and the humans over here, right? Now, this is one example. Somebody came out with this idea because either it was in the ether around us, it was in our collective memory already, and everybody will eventually tap into it, right? We all tap into the, our collective memories from time to time. We just pull things, and we say that we're pulling it out of thin air. That thin air is called the ether. You look dumbfounded. I am. Unsurprisingly, Jay Dreamers is just making shit up. The Aether is not, as he describes, this ethereal place where imagination and dreams come from. Rather, it is a classical element from ancient and medieval sciences that was produced in order to explain the phenomenon of the universe at the time. It has since been replaced by modern physics and science, but in no way, shape, or form is it this idea of imagination. Let's check out another movie. Oh, check this out. We've got Rampage, right? One of my favorite video games when I was a kid. How do you do, fellow kids? Uh, but basically, there's more titans, okay? Now, yeah, you could say it's a giant monkey, or there's another one that's a giant lizard, and there's a giant uh, something else in here, but they are giant beings. They are titanic beings the size of skyscrapers. So not only has Jay Dreamer not seen the movie, he apparently hasn't played the game. The monsters weren't the size of skyscrapers, they beat them up. That was the point of the game. There's this one, which I haven't really t talked about. I know a lot of people leave me um, comments and pictures and stuff, and this is the number one thing on everybody's list. Like, dude, Attack of the Titans, look, like they're talking about it. I would make fun of him misstating the name here, but in all fairness, he does correct himself later. Yes, absolutely, let's talk about it. The reason I haven't really talked about Attack on Titan... Good job. Really good job. ...is mostly because of how they're portrayed, right? They're just all portrayed as, ah, these evil, ugly, monstrous things to be totally terrified of. Jay Dreamers, again, is talking about things he does not actually follow or understand. At the point of him recording this video, the manga had revealed the truth about the Titans. So again we have a... How do you do, fellow kids? ...moment. And they're also portrayed as something you need to immediately kill. I don't think that's a good mindset for us to have. We're being conditioned to immediately point our guns at the sky when the aliens come and just freaking kill them instantly on sight. What? Why? We're also being trained to immediately just kill the Titans, you know, should they return, or the gods, or whatever they are, you know, anything different, just shoot it and kill it. It's, it's a bad, it's bad, it's a bad guy. Jay Dreamers doesn't seem to get that cinema can have more layers than just point our guns at the sky when the aliens come and just freaking kill them instantly on sight. The Titans and Attack on Titan are more than just big scary villains. There's subtext and discussion going on within the story. Jay Dreamer's inability to see beyond the surface level of the media he is discussing is a pretty apt representation of his entire worldview on this subject, surface level and without substance. Um, but I find this particular, it is because of their muscle tendons, okay, the muscle fibers that they clearly show here on the Titans themselves. See what I mean? hasn't even watched the show, is unaware that this one image does not represent every single type of titan. Whenever this cataclysm struck, those beings all died, okay? May have decomposed partially, um, and they turned into rock um, at different intervals, at different periods, to just continue talking until you feel like you've made sense. Huh. Irony! Now, there's a lot of interesting speculation, and there are a lot of there's a there's a few different theories that I've heard as to how they actually turned into rock. Bullshit. 
Absolutely, you can turn into rock. Anything can turn into rock if it if it is uh, deoxidized. If the oxygen is taken away from it, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, basically, if it's suffocated to an extreme degree, it can turn into rock. Um, and water is a key component to that happening. Water does play a key role in the replacement of the hard parts of a buried organism, such as bone and chitin. Unsurprisingly, this process does not save flesh and muscle. We know the world was flooded. We know that everything was covered in not just water, but the debris that was introduced when these waters rushed over a world that was already being terraformed by these titanic beings the size of skyscrapers and mountains. This is a simple lie detector. I'll ask you a few yes or no questions and you just answer truthfully. Do you understand? Yes. And then some people are speculating on some other ideas where they may have just frozen instantly, maybe due to some sort of um, prehistoric weaponry or pre-advanced type of technology that was used in these ancient wars. I'm going to skip over the ridiculous claim of fucking freeze rays in the past and stay on track with the fossil conversation. Animals have very much been frozen and preserved over vast amounts of time. You know what they don't look like? Fucking sandstone. You can see these things all over the place. This is a pig. This is the this is the flesh of a pig. You never would have guessed that because if you were that small, this is how the pig flesh would look to you. Imagine what titan flesh looks like to us. Titan muscles, titan feet or hands or other body parts that we're seeing all around the world. Titan brain or titan, you know, whatever it may be. Again, I will point out Jay Dreamer's lack of specifics. What magnification is that pork image? How small are we supposed to be by comparison? What rock is that zoomed in piggy supposed to resemble? If you want to say sandstone is actually meat, define what parts of the sandstone correspond to the meat. Everything he argues is without depth or thought. It's all surface level and it's all bullshit. I asked myself, why, why, why do we see body parts all over the place, you know? Why don't we just see full, intact titans, just statues, just, you know what I mean? The size of a skyscraper going like, ah, just totally frozen. Many in the mud fossil community do believe that's what we find. There's another series I want to get into that tries to argue a mountain in, I believe, Spain is actually a giant dead mud fossil elephant. So what he's claiming here is something others in his group actually believe. He believes it too. I don't know why he's doubting his own claims now. Well, it makes sense that if they were indeed solidified and turned into rock, that they would also, you know, parts of them would break off. And uh, that's, what we, that's what I'm seeing in my investigations and my research. I'm seeing all of these various body parts all over, pl all over the place. You make the claim that the wave in Arizona is actually muscle flesh. What did that fall off of? How does a brain fall off of something? If your fossils were all fingers and toes, I could at least follow your argument. But what did the wave fall off of? Now, when you combine that with the torrents and the rushing of uh, worldwide floodwaters in an ocean that never existed before this particular part of time. Oh God, more unsubstantiated claims? I can't do this. Dude, you spew so much bullshit. It's so hard to follow, so hard to keep track of. I have to do so much work on my end to keep up with you. You make my life difficult. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Keep firing, assholes! Okay? And that's another thing that blows my mind. You know, we just take the oceans for granted. Those don't belong there. Okay? They don't. That is a foot, okay? It's a foot. That's a footprint, and it was depressed and water filled it up. You know what a footprint looks like. So do I. We don't have to be afraid because we're speculating. We don't have to be afraid because we're using our creative mind and going, oh, that's totally what that looks like, okay? To just continue talking until you feel like you've made sense. 